Hey there! If you're watching this video, chances are you just went through a full arch implant surgery at my office. Now, this has got to be one of the coolest procedures we get to do for our patients. But, in order to make this whole thing last, it's important you follow the postoperative directions very closely. Now, even though we were able to place your implants and your teeth on the same day, it doesn't mean that everything is stable and ready for action. Like all other types of titanium implants, these implants require time to integrate with the jawbone through a process called osseointegration. Osseointegration is basically the process where your bone fuses with the surface of the implant. As a general rule of thumb, implants placed in the lower jaw require about three months, and implants placed in the upper jaw take anywhere from four to six months for this osseo integration process to be completed. Really, the only reason this whole process works is because the implants are all locked together with your actual prosthesis. Okay, let's get down to business. First, let's discuss the protection of the blood clotting and surgical site. So bleeding after a tooth extraction or implant placement is normal, and this may last for several hours. But gentle pressure on your cheeks and jaws with cool packs will help. If there is no active bleeding, then leave the gauze out. Lay in a semi-reclined position, keeping your head above your heart unless you feel faint. Avoid spitting, bending over, sucking through a straw, or rinsing for the first 24 hours. Avoid strenuous activity or smoking for the first 48 hours. Next, let's discuss your hygiene. Rinsing may dislodge the blood clot and interrupt the normal healing process. Carefully follow the following steps in order. On day one, or the first 24 hours after surgery, do not rinse or brush your teeth. Do not spit either. On day two and three, you can gently brush your teeth two times per day, but be careful. You gotta be gentle around the surgical site. Never brush your gums, never brush an exposed membrane, and never brush the surgical site. Begin rinsing gently using the prescribed mouthwash. Repeat this rinsing two times per day. After day three, you can begin rinsing a little bit more vigorously, and then from day four until week six, continue to rinse now with a bit more force. A few more things about caring for your teeth along with cleanliness and healing. Starting on day two, brush your teeth two times a day, but be careful around the incisions, and do not use a water pick until six weeks after surgery. Okay, next let's review swelling, fever, and bruising. So, a cool pack was placed on your face. This is beneficial to help control swelling and bruising. This cool pack should be extended for the first 48 hours. Uh, bruising is pretty normal after these types of procedures, so do not be alarmed if this happens to you. But if extreme swelling occurs, or if a temperature above 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit occurs, please contact the office. Okay, let's talk a little bit about pain. Some discomfort is normal following any oral surgery. If pain medication is prescribed, take only as directed. Often it is beneficial to take the medication after eating to help for if you have some sort of nausea afterwards. Make sure you do not drive on narcotic pain medications. There should be absolutely no smoking or alcohol consumed for the first 48 hours after surgery. This may cause disruption of healthy blood, blood clot formation and increased complications, which include dry sockets, delayed healing, wound breakdown, and post-operative infections. Regarding your diet, no hot liquids, acidic foods, or hot drinks for the first 24 hours. No carbonated beverages like beer or soda. Eat something when you feel ready. Cool liquids are best to start, but avoid sucking through straws. Then, when the numbness starts to wear off, you can progress to a softer diet, but avoid chewing in the area of surgery if possible. Cool pureed diets, which are basically smoothies, are best for the first 24 hours. And a soft diet is food you can very easily pinch your fingers through. Remember, these implants aren't stable. If you simply didn't eat for the first three months, you'd probably heal perfectly. The problem, however, is that you might starve to death. You get the point. The easier the chewing, the better you heal. So there's a few other things we want to talk about. One is sharp bone edges. Sometimes this occurs after any type of procedure performed. Leave it alone. There's no point in picking out or scratching at it. Just notify the office and we'll take care of it. Finally, 
It's important to note that nausea is a normal side effect of most post-operative narcotic pain medications. If you have severe nausea or vomiting, you may need to stop the pain meds or take an additional anti-nausea medication. All right, hopefully these instructions get you off healing on the right foot. See you at your post-op appointment.